everyone. Uh, welcome to another edition of Ask Club and Dev. I'm Kyler, one of the creators of Ultimate Chicken Horse. I am Eve, the new community manager. I'm also going to be doing QA. Uh, and I'll just get to the questions. Zaza on Discord asks, can we get an office tour? The answer is yes, at a later time. Uh, we're going to make it its own video, and it's going to be glorious. Nerdrage from Discord asks, out of all the animals, which was the hardest to draw? It's probably the elephant. Uh, and it's not really because it's hard to draw. It just took a really long time to figure out how to make an elephant that's the same size as a chicken. Fallen Turtle from Discord asks, how does the black hole work? Technically, the black hole works by knowing when you're close to it and measuring your distance from your character to the black hole. A very, very large mass is compacted into a very, very small region in space. And what does, that does, that it distorts the space-time continuum. And then pulling you towards the black hole uh, using the distance as a value that linearly adjusts the force that applies you to it. So that things that fall within its, its zone of influence start falling faster and faster into it. And then once you get within a certain radius of the center, it kills you immediately. A process happens that is called spaghettification, where the bottom half of you that's closest to the black hole is getting pulled faster than the upper half of you. So then you get kind of like pulled and torn into bits. And then does some cool animation to suck you in. So that's how black holes work. Uh, Butter Mario 7 asks about the soundtrack. And is the soundtrack DLC different from the game's OST, so the original soundtrack. So that's a pretty good question because the game actually uses a down, dynamic sound system uh, to dynamically create the music. So every time you listen to the music in the game, it's going to be pieced together differently and it switches between run mode and build mode. So the sound team at Vibe Avenue, they actually have to create a uh, the version that is in the soundtrack. Coco Duds from Discord asks, Will you make UCH Battle Royale? So, as community manager, I want to say no to that, <laughs> but that's kind of out of my hands. So I'll see if I need to deal with this in the future. I really like this question because I've been thinking about this, if you could do a UCH Battle Royale. And my concept for it was that, I'm not saying we're going to do this, but the concept would be that 100 players would play on the same map and a few of them would get selected to build the level, and then everyone would try to run through it, and if you died, you're out. Fallen Turtle from Discord asks, why did the bunny become a robot? The true story of that is it's a Kickstarter backers idea that we wanted a bunny, and they thought it would be a cool idea to make it a robot bunny. But there's surely a better story that someone could come up with. Something really, really tragic happened with the you know, original bunny that we had, and simply we had the technology. Yalmea on Discord asks, who's your favorite YouTuber, or what's your favorite genre of video? So I'm a big fan of uh, Let's Plays, and the, the YouTuber that I watch the most is Northern Lion, uh, which some of you are almost certainly familiar with. I think my favorite YouTuber right now is Captain Disillusion. He makes videos about uh, videos that break down potentially fake videos online to explain whether or not they're real or false. Uh, the Puff Puff from Discord. Because the Earth is obviously a donut shape, what flavor should it be? I think it should probably be like a pretty chocolatey flavor just because that would be my favorite and it would be delicious if it was chocolatey. I think of the Earth as kind of a multiple layered donut. So you would have like the regular donut pastry with maybe a light dusting of sugar on top. And then there would be a jelly center, probably cherry, uh, just because that sounds good. And then another center inside of the jelly where it gets solid again. And that would be a little donut hole of chocolate flavored dough. Six Matco Q on Discord asks, are you working a scrum or agile system with sprints? If so, how long are your sprints? Uh, we do have a system that's vaguely like scrum or agile, 
You could also say we use something that's similar to uh, getting things done, and we work in one-week sprints. Though we're not, it's not a perfect scrum in any sense of the word. Hybrid Knight on YouTube asks, if you could become any prehistoric creature, what would you be? I think I'm gonna go with um, Opabinia, which is one of those things from the something called the Burgess or Burgess Shale. Um, which is a place in Canada where things got preserved in a way that conserved the soft tissues. And why I like Opabinia is that it's among those that at first we weren't really sure if it was an animal or a plant. I think just to be different, I would want to be like the very first bacteria or like the very first little microorganism that ever existed just because then you get to be the first. Index154 from Discord asks, uh, if you had a truck, what would you put in it? So to be uh, in the spirit of Ultimate Chicken Horse, uh, I would have animals in my truck, um, including, but not restricted to, a fox, a wolf, an alpaca, a bear, and of course, uh, a single egg on the driver's seat. Um, if I had a truck, I would probably put finished versions, finished switch cartridges of Ultimate Chicken Horse in it and then drive it around and then give them out. So hopefully someday that'll happen. So that's all we have for today. Um, thanks a lot for watching this new edition of uh, Ask Clev and Dev. You can ask us questions uh, on Discord, um, on Twitter, on our subreddits, uh, on YouTube in the comments. You can email us. You can ask us using the hashtag AskClevinDev. We'll put it on the screen so it'll be really obvious. Thanks. Bye.